So we're just going for the morning orientation on the track in Mike's uh, Porsche. How does it look? He meant us. Well, that too. How do he we meant look? us. <laughs> what is this car? GT3 Touring. Everybody is joining us. Uh, these are just few of the cars. things what you uh what I say okay so we're heading out driving to do a reconnaissance orientation lap and Mike will be kind enough to let us know where to what to and how to so we'll stop in all the so corners we'll stop in some of the corners so he can show us what uh, what is the best way to so this is like a orientation lap no, but this is like a track walk in track cars. Walk, cars this is the fast version. <laughs> yes, this is the quick uh, corner of the mill. Corner worker? at this view. Having said that, please work up to it. Um, depending on the car you're driving, you know, how much brake pressure. Somebody asked me, Mike, can you go through turn one without braking? I said, you certainly can, you can do that. You can only do it, can only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, you know, we just tap the brake for some of the cars, other more substantial because big speed down the straightaway. Down to the apex. And, you know, some drivers, when I was racing, I like to kind of do it as a uh, diamond corner, right? If a car were close by because you carry so much more speed. So out and out to this curve and in the late turn. Some people feel like with the camber here, you got a little more camber, and so it's always important to, and it depends on your car a bit, to how it's turning, 
but uh, you know it's always important to know not only where the track goes but how it goes right where the camber is and so forth and that's an important aspect of this track so big vision <laughs> as you might imagine, but again, build up to it. The other thing is you'll notice is we have the braking markers like 54321. Use them. Okay, gentlemen, so this corner here, this left-hander, it's faster than it appears. It's a fast corner, and you feel the speed. He is, get your car set up to the right over where the curbing is. Make sure you're looking to the right and soft hand, slow turn in. At that speed, if you move the steering wheel quickly, it's gonna really upset the car. So just a nice slow turn in. Make sure, you're, again, your eyes are looking where you wanna end up. Very fast, please build up to it. It's fast, which means if you go off, you're gonna go for a long ride. It used to be much closer when we moved this back because so many cars were impacted. So it's a very fun corner, it's very fast, but treat it with respect. It's a bit of compromise coming out because naturally you wanna take the car out to the right, but you gotta be careful to make sure you get the car. Yep, you see black marks on the inside. Your mm -hmm. car should not be on the inside. That's for guys racing. Downhill, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and off camera a little bit. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what does that do for your braking? It's not as good, right? So, if you're going down the grade, the grip isn't as, as good, so your braking is reduced, and you're just coming off a very fast area. So, it's really easy, especially with downhill, to get in too hot. Now, you're braking too late, too much stress on the front tire, you put the angle to it, the car goes straight off. So, I can't really tell you that. Uh, braking is dependent on, of course, how fast you're going and how hard you're braking. But you're right on this one, there's no braking reference gone. So the answer is, initially, start out very conservative. If you have to add a little gas to get to the corner, that's not the worst thing, right? Typical ambulance. Need the ambulance. I'll fire with the bike.
best not to get into it. Yeah, there's a lot of times where you know what it's wet right now. So who knows, going off at speed, it's typically pretty ugly. So you don't say, oh, Mike's there's a lot of grass, I can just go over there. I'd avoid that. <laughs> Having said that, notice the big marks on the wall. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That hurts. The wall doesn't move and those are big crashes. You're gonna do major, major damage to your car at the speed you go off if you book and come across it. You're probably gonna write your car off. That's a fact. <laughs> it does look like it. So again, just nice, easy turn in, build up to it. Guys, don't run off the track, but use all the track, yeah. right? The quickest way, the way with the most grip in and out of the corner is what? The straightest line, right? So you set the car up all the way to the left, gradual turn in, all the way to the exit. Pit, pit entrance is right back there at night. As I mentioned earlier, you know, don't slow up a lot and put your arm out. So put your arm out so everybody knows it's coming. Make sure you well to the right. Have fun, B. 
be safe.